Hey guys, so today we have this really nice um, EVGA laptop. You can see there all the fingerprints everywhere. Yeah, but um, it's a pretty nice EVGA laptop. Here it is. It's the SC15. Um, it's one, I think it's the first one they ever made. Um, I could be wrong on that, but um, I'm pretty sure it's one of the first ones they've ever made. Uh, they usually stick with power supplies. So here's a little bit of the specs you can see at the bottom right here. Uh, here's the nice keyboard. Um, there's a screen. It's pretty nice. But um, today we want to show you just maybe how to maybe upgrade a few things on it. Um, and, you know, just kind of open it up, maybe check it out what's going on. Uh, this one actually has no display for it, so we actually have to open this up anyway. So what you want to do first, of course, is move all the screws back here. Um, they're very straightforward. Everything you can see it, there's nothing hidden. Uh, after that, uh, you want to make sure you prop it up. So when you ever prop up any back cover, you always want to be careful. There could be like a latch or something. Um, just got to be a little bit careful here. Alright, so we removed it. This is kind of what it looks like when you open it. Um, is it better? Yeah, there's kind of everything. Here's the battery there. Um, it is missing the hard drive already, as you can see there. But there's M.2, so um, yep, and that should probably be all. Everything's on the other side. So always when you do anything, first thing, this, the battery needs to come out. Let's make sure we take out the battery. And in this case, it's not too bad. Um, it's just connected here. You can use your fingers. Just slide it out a little bit. You can inch it, or you can try to pull it. There you go. Okay, so that's out. Now we can kind of do whatever we want now to it. Um, what's the best thing to do? Always pull things out, and then, like, all the cables come out first, and then the screws. All right, so let's do the cables real quick. There's a cable here, 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 here. Um, you can see here, here's the LCD cable, um, there's the fan connections too, but that looks like it's on the other side. Um, even this one, it kind of looks like um, there's a few connections, even when we pop it up a little bit, they're going to be on the other side as well. So when you lift it up, you don't want to just yank it up because you could actually pull something out. So let's do these connections first. Well, maybe we should probably remove the battery too. The battery can kind of stay, um, it's not really in the way, but I'm actually going to leave that. looks like the battery's a little bit glued here, so let me see. Yeah, if something's glued, I kind of want to leave it alone, um, definitely. So let's, let's be careful about that. You can still remove it, it's fine, but um, I think I can go around it because the board doesn't look like it's interfering anyway. Okay, so this one has a latch. Um, this one also has a latch. Just pull out this out a little bit. Okay, pull it out. There's two little sides here you have to pull, and then it comes out. Um, here's this one just to push up the latch, and this comes out right here. If you're tugging at all, um, <clears throat> just be careful. Because if nothing should tug, it should be very straightforward, very simple. Um, here's a speaker. Okay, now I'm going to go to the LCD cable over here, too. LCD cables usually have this little, um, right here, this little bar. You can pull up first, and then they come out. It's really careful because the pins are so delicate. All these connectors are super delicate. Okay, so that let's see, it looks like we have okay, so we have two here. Looks like we just have a regular connector and we have the Wi Fi. Looks like the board is part of the Wi Fi too. Okay. So I like to double check just okay, just look around, make sure there's nothing else is connected. Um, so if it looks good, which it kinda does here, I don't really see anything, I'm just double checking real quick. 
then I think I could pull the board out. So, okay. Now it just looks like it's a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, thank goodness. Okay, just a Phillips head. Looks like you can see here. Um, some of them have warranty stickers. Looks like this has been removed already. It's a warranty sticker. Um, that's just their way of securing it because that's one of the, uh, they usually put it on one of the pieces of the board that are extremely important. And of course, this is very important to remove the board. Um, it looks like as far as upgradability, if you don't want to mess with the warranty, you can only do just a standard hard drive here, um, which makes total sense. I mean, if you want another storage or a bigger one, um, usually RAM's a pretty popular one. People like doing more RAM. Um, for this board, I'm actually not too sure if the RAM is soldered or not. Oh, actually, I missed the connection right here. See? So you always want to double check. But, I mean, that's pretty obvious anyway. Um, okay, so let's do this. Okay, so we're going to have to remove the fan, looks like, as well. Now again, be careful when you lift it, because I did remember there are some connections on the bottom. Um, it looks like it might have been just the fan, but it looks like the DC jack over here is connected as well. So we can remove this too with it. So we take it all up. There we go. That's all up. And now again, we want to double check this. So this was here. This connection over here was still in. You can see there's another speaker. Just pull it out, be very careful with that. It's, it's pretty simple to pull out, but um, again, check under, make sure you're all good. Um, feels like something else is still there. So it looks like, too, um, we're going to have to remove this because this the, the heat sink goes underneath over here. So we're going to have to actually remove this real quick. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Mm. Lift that up. So you can see the bar right there. It's a heat sink bar. So now we can, it looks like we can remove it. Check under again. No connectors, okay. So there you go. This is what it looks like. Here's the RAM right here. So you can replace the RAM. Um, here's the M.2 drive that you also have. MX500 is actually pretty good, so they put a decent one in there. Um, but yeah, so here it is right here. That's it. Have a good one.